Hi, my name is Paul and I am from Massachusetts. I have been a Republican all my life. I have worked on every single presidential campaign, volunteered, some paid um, since Ronald Reagan and I was in high school. Um, I idolize that man and I absolutely believe in that form of the Republican Party. What the Republican Party has become is not what the Republican Party was and what we grew up on. And I've been wondering where the Republicans were. I've been waiting for this rise of Republicans against Trump because for a while it just felt like it was me. And I've been screaming and telling everybody that would listen that this man is basically going to ruin this country. And he did. And I, I have to say that I knew it was going to be bad. And I told everybody it was going to be bad. I used the show. Um, terminology. I did not think it was going to get this bad. Never in a million years did I think it would get this bad. So this is where um, I've worked on campaigns in the past to elect Republican presidential candidates to become president. I've never, ever worked for a Republican not to be president. And as hard as I worked on those campaigns, I will work even harder to make sure that Donald Trump does not become a president again for four years. Because if he does, we've lost our party already. I think we lose our country next. There are certain qualities I think a president has to have, whether the Republican or Democrat, doesn't matter. Grace, some class, some intelligence, some basic values, some core beliefs, some compassion, some understanding of law, and some understanding of the Constitution, which he has just systematically dismantled piece by piece. He doesn't know a law because he breaks all of them. He's gotten away with all of them. And the fact that the Republican senators and congressmen don't do anything about this, they're just as much to blame. And I have walked away from the party and until the party changes, until I feel comfortable in what they represent, I'm out. I am tired of hearing everyone in his administration and every one of his followers say, well, what about Clinton? Or what about this? Or what about that? Clinton's not president. Nor is she going to be president. Donald Trump is the president. Donald Trump is the one that has the responsibility to uphold the Constitution, take care of our country, not his own personal agenda, and actually make us better. We need to get on Facebook and we need to get people to get videos in. We need to work harder than they are going to because we all know that they are going to be out in full force. There's not a Trump supporter that won't be out there voting. It's time to get everybody out to vote. We cannot be complacent.